Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to look at another way to play against the London. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So the Vision Base 6 line against London, I think it's still good, but it's still a little bit more positional than I would like, and it's hard for Black to kind of get some dynamic play. So here we're going to look at a different variation, courtesy of Michael Adams. But actually, this game, Michael Adams played against Karyakin, but the idea Karyakin actually did first against someone else. So kind of Michael Adams used... Karyakin's weapon uh, kind of against him. So we're going to start at e6 or knight f6, basically the same thing. Um, basically, we're going to start with a Nimzo. Um, so here, e3, and now c5, knight f3, and d5. So here, we're going to take the center, um, and we're going to have some very important maneuvers that are going to make this position very playable. So c3, knight c6, knight d2, all normal London, bishop d6, and now we have two variations, either bishop g3, or knight e5. So knight e5, we can play queen c7, putting pressure on this e5 square. So if we can get e5 break in, we're good to go. So here he's going to play knight f3, but now we can go c4. And now this bishop always wants to be on this diagonal through d3. So here now we take away what that bishop, that, what that bishop wants. And for example, if he goes b3, we can just take. Because this would drop a pawn, or maybe even more, after this, and now c3 goes. So we would force queen takes, and now we can play castle, and we're going to have this knight a5, knight c4 maneuver, and the c3 pawn is going to be very weak. So we would be very happy with this position, um, and if bishop e2, we can probably just start castle and start some play like this. And our play is a lot faster than usually, and he did not, he never got e4 in, which is a double win for us. But normally they're going to go bishop to g3, so here you want to go castle, and Bishop d3, probably what most London players are going to do, and now b6. So b6, knight e5, so their idea is they want to take the e5 square, we go bishop b7, um, f4, or even castle, um, either way we're going to do the same maneuver. Um, so here we're going to go knight to e7. The idea is we want to go knight f5, and may either make him trade this bishop for this square, for this knight, giving us the e4 square, or take away this bishop and pressure this e5 square, um, probably through knight d7 and f6, something like that, or at some point knight e4 and f6. Um, but we take away one of his bishops, giving us um, a, a slight advantage and an easier position to play against. So here, for example, of queen f3, we can go knight f5. Um, and if bishop f2, he tries to preserve it, we go one more maneuver. Bishop e7, castle, knight d6, and now knight f6 is coming to e4, and we're going to get f6 in. And here, now we have the kind of the grips on the position, and we're a lot more happy with this kind of setup. So this is what I would probably play against the London now. Um, Bishop a6, still very interesting. I think it um, has some pros and cons, but I really like this position for black. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, make sure to check out wolfchess.org for great lessons, videos, and puzzles. And hope you guys were entertained.